Hello and welcome to Musicality and Tech. This is a very quick tutorial on uh, on marker tool in FL Studio 20, which can be really useful to you whenever you are making your uh, song or full track in FL Studio. And this is basically a playlist tool. Uh, by using this tool, you can mark your playlist. Okay, like this part is intro or this part is verse or this part is hook or in an EDM language like this part is intro or this part is build, this part is break, maybe this part is drop, this is drop one, this is drop two, like that. If you can, if you can do that, uh, then when you are uh, mixing or mastering or just listening to your song or whenever you are producing, okay, you can simply look at certain, certain parts or certain part and you can, you can decide if you want to add something to it or what, okay. Uh, otherwise what uh, the situation would be somewhat confusing like you, you are you are uh, listening to a song and you are at 70 73rd bar okay and now you are you are confused about like something like you want to add something or remove something but you you don't know uh, what kind of uh, part uh, that is okay uh, is that a drop or is that a that a build or break or whatever okay generally you understand but sometimes you you would need that extra guidance okay so in that sense, yeah, uh, this marker tool can be really useful. So without wasting any any second, I, I would just come to the point. So uh, what you should do, see, uh, right now if you tr uh, uh, try and right click here, you won't get anything apart from that uh, selection tool, okay? Okay, so what you should do, you should go to your first bar or whatever bar from where you want to start your, uh, you start using your marker tool. You should go to the first first bar and just go to this playlist options. Then you can click it and you can go to time markers option and you can click this add one button. Okay. Now you can add your first marker. I would be adding intro as my first marker. So now this thing is activated. Now your first, first marker is intro. Uh, uh, suppose after eight bars, uh, bars, you want to start your verse. What you can do? You can just right click here and you can do verse. Okay. I would do it once again. Let, let me delete it. I can just right click here now this this panel is now activated I can add marker and then I can add whatever I want I would add verse verse one here okay if you are making uh, EDM maybe you can start with your break or whatever you are you are okay so maybe break one okay break okay um then suppose after 16 bars you want to drop like you want to um, add your drop or maybe after eight bars, maybe you want to add your build as well. Like, so you'll, you'll add your marker here, build. Okay. That's done. So after eight bars, you have added build. Uh, remember, I'm not, I'm not talking about, uh, I'm not talking about production and everything. I'm just trying to tell you about marker tool. Okay. So build and then at uh, 25th bar, I want to add my drop. So I would just write it drop. Okay. And I have added, added another marker here. Okay. So it works like this. And after this, whenever you are pro producing or mixing or mastering, you can just look at certain section and you, you can easily, you can easily look at the name like, uh, because, okay. So now you're working in a drop section. So you can, you can change accordingly. It would, it would just, uh, make your workflow a little, little easy easier than than it was before okay so i hope uh, this tutorial uh, is somewhat useful to you if you, if you like this tutorial you can you should just like the video and share with your uh, producer friends and subscribe to this channel uh, we'll keep posting such quick and useful tutorials on this channel so until next time goodbye